What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are taking a look at the Elite 55 James Ellsworth figure, which is brand new. And you can get this figure right now at walkoutwear.com. If you go over there, you use the promo code MDT, you will get 16% off as well as free shipping. Best place to buy your, buy your figures. But we just found out the other day that James Ellsworth has been released by WWE. But it is cool that we got his figure before that happened. I wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. However, I wasn't the biggest fan of him when he was with the company, obviously. And, um... I don't know, I felt like he kind of made the main event uh, sort of seem like a joke. I know that he was for comedic relief. However, I'm all for good comedy. Um, I love comedy in my wrestling. However, you got to know where to draw the line. And I just don't see him beating AJ Styles, even if it is dirty. I just don't like that. But anyways, let's get into this figure. Um, starting off with the front packaging, you have James Ellsworth here. And then on the side, you have James Ellsworth there. On the back, you have a short little bio here with a picture of James. And then on the other side, you have another picture of James. And that pretty much covers the brand new packaging that we got. I like this a lot more than the old packaging. And if you notice, we are in a different setup. The lighting may not be as good as well. And that is because I am not home in my usual setup. So I had to sort of make a makeshift setup for right now. But I will be doing normal videos uh, after this. So don't worry, this is not a uh, regular thing. This will just be on occasion. So uh, yeah, let's crack this figure open. Alright guys, here we have James Ellsworth out of his packaging, starting out at the top of the head. You have this nice, I think this is a good head scan for James Ellsworth. I think that it works. Um, you see they did not include his chin, which is very accurate, and then the hair is pretty accurate as well. I think they did a good job on that. Moving down into the torso, I feel like this is so odd. They gave him a new torso, but it's very long. I think that, I don't know if that's accurate to James Ellsworth or not, but... They gave him this brand new torso mold, and the articulation on this torso is awful. Like, this is as far as it, that's as far as it leans forward, and then that's as far as it leans back. So not very much articulation going on on this figure. And then on the arms, another weird choice that they made here is that they gave him, like, women arms. Like, these are woman molded arms. I don't know if these are brand new, but they remind me a lot of women arms, I guess, because they're so skinny, but... I think that's weird. I think they should have just went with the regular Jan uh, Daniel Bryan torso and arms. I think that would have worked much better. But I guess this is what they gave us. But um, the tattoos do look nice. I think the skull with the black and red with the flames looks nice. The back tattoo looks good as well. And then on the back, or on the other arm I should say, is also a good tattoo. So they did well on his tattoos, I believe. Um, white wrist tape and then the two fisted hands for his little moniker. Any man with two hands has a fighting chance. So that is uh, pretty cool. They included two fisted hands. Uh, only black trunks. Nothing special about the trunks. And then going down into the legs, it gets a little bit weird. Um, first of all, I know there is some James Ellsworths out there that have like really thick, long legs. So I don't think this is uh, the problem with this one. On this one, they gave us like... Uh, tights molded uh, legs so you see here there's little uh, marks there and then in the calves there's little uh, rivets again like they're supposed to be tights so I don't know what they were doing I guess maybe that's the only way they could uh, fix the big leg problem is to give us tights legs but that is that um, he does have some tattoos here on the legs as well in the back of his calves and um, his red boots do look nice I do like these boots a lot and then, of course, big knee pads. But that is the entire figure in its entirety. Um, I guess if you like James Ellsworth, I would recommend this figure just because you need a James Ellsworth in your collection. If you feel the need for that, definitely go pick it up. But um, besides that, this figure has a lot of weird things about it. And then looking at the shirt he comes with, this is his only accessory. And it is this cloth shirt, which is always a bonus. And then it does have his funny little face on there that they sold on WWE Shop. And it was actually a big hit. I think it sold more than a lot of other superstars. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much the entire figure, guys. Um, if you guys, again, like I said, if you're a fan of James Ellsworth, I definitely recommend the figure. I'm just saying this is a very weird figure. There's a lot of different things about it, a lot of brand new things about it. Um, I'm glad I didn't get the massive leg mold, but again, this, yeah, just the parts used for this were crazy. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize that this is not like all my other videos. It's not as neat, and it's like a weird setup, but I hope you guys did enjoy it anyway. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.